Hey guys, it's Day, and honestly, this is probably one of the best nights of my life, and you'll be like, why? And I'll answer you with, um, in gay marriage, it's going to be legal at 12 a.m., which is midnight. It is currently 11.48, and I'm feeling it. So, in case you didn't know, I'm originally from Northern Ireland. I live in Liverpool now, however, for... Um, studying but uh, that's where I'm originally from and all my family are from. I still kind of live there, I'm just here to study but yeah basically it is illegal where it was illegal, it still kind of is until 12 okay. So basically theor theor theoretically, yeah, theoretically <laughs> it is kind of illegal right now okay. So at 12 it is going to be legal and so is abortion. So these are two things that I believe in. I believe that women should have the rights and I also feel that like gay people should have rights. So I'm really, really happy at the moment and I'm not happy that I'm gonna be alarm on. So when it hits 12 during this video, we will take a little moment to celebrate and just document the change in this video. So like, I can always look back and be like, that's how bad I looked when gay rights were legalized. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, um, what else was I going to say? So, in today's video, we're going to like think in this diff as if we're on like this different universe where people actually find me attractive and I have a relationship life. So, we're going to do wedding makeup. And I have never done wedding makeup in my life, so don't expect that much. But, um, Basically, I'm going to rephrase that. What we're doing is legal gay marriage wedding makeup. So, Arlene, hey girl. But if you all got, if everyone's wondering why, like, gay marriage was illegal, um, I'm not really the right person to ask. I don't work or I'm not a part of, like, the DUP. If you want to figure that out, you may go on to like hit Arlene up at like Twitter or her, I don't know if she uses Instagram, maybe she's too above that, but hit her up on either. But she may take like a week or two because I'm pretty sure she's in her bathroom at the moment with the door locked on the floor, crying, um, just not know what to do, while every other gay back home is just currently down in a refresher bomb and does with the drag queen. But... <laughs> Yeah, so she may get back to you, I highly doubt it. I don't think that she will be getting back to anyone for a little while, but I will. Let's get started on this video. Okay guys, so I've just drawn up my brows and I'm just going to give them a little blend at the front. Like so, with the spoolie. But yes, they look pretty good to me. So every wedding makeup is like really subtle, really bright, really like neutral, pretty, where what I'm used to doing is like colourful, out there like circus clown realness, so kind of intimidated at the fact that it's all brows, people are like oh my god brows are like so easy, brows are the thing, they're the worst for me, I find them so hard to do, but I'm going to go prime my eyes with some Fenty concealer and I will be right back. Okay guys, so after priming my lids, I have picked up a few palettes which I might go between. I haven't really chosen whatsoever yet. So I have the Morph they're all Jeffree Star by the way. So I have the Morphe X Jeffree Star. I have the Blue Blood palette. And then I have the Alien palette also because it does have some nice brown moments in there. Um as you can see. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick like a really nice light shade. So let me say I will open up these palettes beside each other and I will just basically have a look at each of them and see what I think. So can this it doesn't flip. Melting. So guys, it's literally like three minutes away. I'm so excited. Oh, blood sugar ain't playing though at the same time. I haven't even used this palette yet. I think I used it once, but I think I'm gonna dip in here. So I'm just gonna take this little Fenty blending brush and I'm gonna dip into the shade Sugar Cane, which is this like really nude kind of beige color. So yes, I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna just coat my entire lid with it. 
Okay, so as you can see, I like doing one eye at a time. So after that, we are then going to take another brush. And this one is a Morphe F, Morphe and Jeffree Star one. I'm going to take a darker color and I'm going to go in for the shade Ouch, which is this kind of like browny color here. So I'm going to take that. And there's a bit of kickback to that. So like that. And I'm going to just blend it more into my crease. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm literally so excited. It's like 30 seconds away. So once I've done that, I am then going to go in with like a darker color. But I'm going to use like a flat brush for this. So let me see. Let me see, let me see. I can't even like think straight, I'm too busy, like enjoying my life at the moment. I'm gonna go over this Jeffrey one right here. But first I'm gonna wait for the eight seconds till Arlene Foster goes and cries. So three, two, one. <coughs> Guys, it is my legal for me to get married. Goodbye, dinosaurs. Hello, new world. <laughs> Whew. I'm really overjoyed. I don't know what I, the, the, the feelings. I don't usually get feelings, not gonna lie. I don't. But I do this one time. I don't know how to feel about it, but. <laughs> the website I use for an alarm has a meme of pandas. <laughs> but it's cool to spend that special moment with you guys, so thanks. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna then take my this little flat brush here. It is actually battered on the handle of it. Battered the house. But I'm just gonna take it and work on my inner so i'm going to use this shade from the morphe um jeffree star palette it's called hi dude so it's this one here it's like a dark brown kind of color i'm look, going to put that on my inner eye okay so so i'm then going to Cut my crease. So just get a little brush for cutting your crease. Guys, I'm just so excited right now. Honestly, like there's so much good, so much more for this world. There really is. Like there's so much more we can change, but we're getting there. And I'm so happy to say that we're actually getting there because at a moment time there I really thought that like Northern Ireland was going to be so behind forever and we were never ever going to like actually progress but we are so okay guys so after I've cut my crease I am then going to go in with this copper uh, pigment from Peaches and Cream and it is called Dynamite. So I'm gonna wet my brush, like always, dip it in, and I always take the lid and tap any excess off, like so. And then I'm just gonna apply it over everywhere I've conceived. Okay, so after I've done that, I'm then gonna take some more of the um, color of this color called Hi Dude in the Jeffree Star palette, and I'm just gonna apply it. Here. Okay guys, so after I've done that, I'm then going to add a bit of liner, but you see, I actually do not own a black liner, which is kind of weird, but I really rarely ever wear a black liner, so I'm going to show you guys a little hidden gem I have from, how long, from maybe a year ago? 
So this is a pigment with like gold glitter flakes in it from back in the day. I nearly spilled that. And it is called Beautiful Sitter. And it is named after the Nicki Minaj song called Beautiful Sitter because, you know, I am Nicki Minaj stan. So basically you can make a really sickening black letter out of this with gold flakes in it. And I will show you how. I'm actually planning on maybe bringing this pigment back out because it is sickening. You can literally create a smoky eye with just this pigment with gold glitter and stuff in it. It is insane. So basically what I like to do is I take the Morphe X Jeffree Star or any other setting spray really. I just add a bit into the lid like so. And once it goes wet, you take like a little angle brush or stuff like that whenever it tickles your fancy. And you can make it into like a paint. So I'm going to add a bit more because it was really far away with that. So anyway, here we are. We have like our lighter. So I'm going to apply the lighter and I will be right back. Guys, so this is what it looks like after I've applied some liner and I don't know I really like my liner to be like like really graphic etc stuff like that so I know it's like wedding makeup but this is stays wedding makeup like it has to be fuego it has to be like really really good and also this wing just snatches the face like Look at that, that is sickening. Absolutely sickening. Like, she's a basic hoe. She's a bad bitch. <laughs> so, I'm then gonna do the other eye off camera and I will be, you guessed it, right back. <laughs> okay guys, so I've just finished the other eye and I feel like so different. Like I never ever wore black liner. But after this, I think I might, like, I am liking this, um, it is really, really different. I really don't usually go for, like, neutrals and blacks, but this is a look. Like, I do feel really, really starched, like, I would wear this. Possibly. Like, I definitely would wear this, but, like, to my wedding, uh... I don't know about that, it's a bit OTT, but everything about me is a bit OTT, so I probably would. <laughs> so I am now going to move on to foundation. I am also going to close up my pigments first because I have a habit of doing this where I use pigments, keep the lid open as I'm doing my makeup. My big fat arm knocks into the pigments and then they go all over me and all over the floor and I've just wasted all my money. So after I've closed those, we're going to move on to foundation. So as you can see, I am a bit tan and that is good because when you go to your wedding, you get like a spray tan or whatever. Mine isn't a spray tan. Mine is Bondi Sage, yes, from Superdrug, which is like $14.99. So it isn't exactly a... Uh, spray tan and it isn't exactly not blotchy but it'll do for the video so I'm just going to take my Maybelline Fit Me which I use when I have tan this is the shade I use it is the shade 220 so I'm going to take a little bit on the back of my hand please tell me I have enough of this I do and then I'm just going to buff it all over my face and I will be back Okay guys, so I've just applied my foundation, so now I am going to apply my concealer. So I use a different concealer when I'm tan, and it's still Fenty, but it's a 235 concealer. So I'm just going to go nice in with this, in really nice, and get all my good high points. So as you can see, I just like using like, the of my cheek, under my cheek to help carve that out. And the same on the other side. I need another junk, and then I just need to put that down like so, and yeah, I could probably do that as well over here, I could. 
Um, then adjust all, all the on the bridge of my nose on the tip. I like covering where my mustache should be and a little bit on my chin. So, but what I'm going to do is I want to actually brighten it a little bit more. So, I'm also going after this falls. So, I'm also, <laughs> I'm also going to take some of my regular fat day in 130 and just add a little bit about just so I can get a bit of a brighter complexion. And I'm only going to do it on places where I want to brighten. So like under my cheek a tiny bit. Yeah, a tiny bit. I have so much concealer on, but I'm sure it'll blend out, hopefully. So I'm going to take this little concealer buffer brush and then just buff it all out and I'll be right back. Okay, so after that, I did have to set it. So I do have a couple of setting powder options. So I have the Laura Mercier. No, this is this is Le Mer. This cost me ninety five pound. Um, it, it has like this special kind of like glow stuff in it. I think because it's my wedding, I think I might use it because you know my wedding. Uh, <laughs> So I think I might use that. Let me see. Yeah, I, I'm gonna use that. So I'm gonna take like a little sponge and I'm just gonna pick some up on my sponge, maybe get a little bit wet, so and then get like this and just put it on the places I just concealed. Damn, that looks so good. That looks so good. I did use my concealer on my mustache, but I don't want to brighten there. I want to like just, you know, conceal it. So, I'm just going to take my little fancy blotting powder with a powder brush, give it a little one two and then just dab over. So yeah, like I said, you can't really bake with this powder, it kind of just settles into the skin. And honestly, I'm not mad at it. <coughs> but I'm so feeling that. I already have like natural contours as well, so I can't wait till I get like it all in. So, next thing to do is I want to get my bronzer and the bronzer. I have a few options. So I do. I think I might just use this one. Not this one. The same bronze, but like a different colour. This one here. Private Island is such a good, good, good colour. I love it. But honestly, such a good colour. So, I'm going to I say that I'm gonna take a little bit on this Fenty brush, right? This brush is insane, it literally carves your cheeks for you. So I'm just gonna take a little bit and put it up where I want to like define my cheek. So like here. I remember when you're doing your cheekbones, do not go down. Go around because your cheekbones are like that. If you do that, your face is just, it just all drops down. You want it to like, lift. Well, I'm then going to take a little eyeshadow brush and do my nose. After that, I'm then going to put on some highlighter, and the highlighter I'm going to use is this Fenty Furry Balm. This is the dust. They used to have it in Pom Pom, but then she took it out and put it like these little containers. This one is called 24 Cray, and I'm literally just going to take a little bit because it's really blinding. So I'm just going to take a little bit and focus it more up here. So 
So this is how you snatch your nose right so you'll do a dot of highlighter here and this dot needs to be the most blinding dot on the face okay as you can see right then you're going to take more and take that off and you're going to go from here in a straight line and go like that and blend okay so that will help pinch your nose and make it look smaller Oh, I look snatched. I love this look. Let all the powders set in. So I'm going to take this little flat brush here. And I am just going to go back into the blood sugar palette. Like so. And go into the shade sugar cane. And just put it under my lid. Off to the liner lips, so I just go down with NYX and this is, I don't know, I've shaved the name off it. So I have, no, it's Nude Suede Shoes, so yes, this is the one here. Then I'm going to go into this Jeffree Star lipstick called Christmas Cookie. Okay guys, so we're going to want to like let that dry down a little bit and then we're going to apply some gloss. So the gloss I've picked today is the The Gloss by Jeffree Star and it is called I Am The Boss or I'm The Boss, there is no I am, it's I'm The Boss. Next thing I'm going to do is put on some mascara and you may be like, Steve, would I put more on any lashes? And the answer is because it is like, let me see. Past 12 o'clock, it is 20 to 1 in the morning, and I don't see myself opening the pair of big lashes to put them on to take them off five minutes after. So, this is what you're going to get today. But <laughs> I have long lashes anyway, so roller lash will help bring them right. So, I'm just going to use a bit of roller lash. Okay, guys, so this is the end of the video. Um, if you liked it, please like and comment and share and of course subscribe because if you want to see more of my content um, it's ideal if you're a subscriber because it just comes up and also make sure you click the little bell notification thing YouTube is so different than what it was like years ago and I have to do that and all as well so make sure you do that also um, but it was good to share my experience um, being from Northern Ireland and seeing legal seeing gay marriage being becoming legal and abortion and it was good to like share that with you guys and I thought it was pretty fun like this idea of just doing like my wedding makeup with theory, theory. when in reality I don't I can't say I can't say that word so in reality I'm not gonna actually probably if I get married because you know sad but <laughs> Yes, um, it is quarter to one in the morning. I am actually exhausted. So I will see you guys on the next one. And be sure to subscribe. So bye.